Today we had quite a nice CIO roundtable event with some of our customers. Customers like MRI Systems, uh, SNG Grant Thornton, as well as the JSE. We spoke around cloud platforms and cloud transformations, what worked for them and what didn't work for them, what their potential strategies are. I think the, the biggest challenge is costs and understanding how you're going to be paying this bill. And, and, and for the longest of time, or most of these cloud providers that came are dollar-based, uh, which makes it um, difficult for you to understand what your budget is and what, what are you going to be uh, paying at the end of the month. But um, it also takes the understanding of what cloud is and, 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 and us being ready for, for cloud. You know, we, sometimes we have these legacy systems that are not necessarily good for the cloud and therefore they will use too much um, compute and, and, and storage in the cloud and makes it uh, expensive. You know, often it's a cost aspect or uh, data protection, data security. Um, you know, and I guess it, it's helping our customers overcome these challenges and showcase that through partnering with uh, cloud providers like Aoko, we can provide better levels of security than they can do on their own, uh, as well as having scale, uh, you know, that they couldn't necessarily have on their own. Uh, data migration, the amounts of data that uh, that need to go to the cloud, how would you do that? If you look at a vendor lock-in and exit strategy, uh, organizations should be thinking around those lines. The other big one, which is data sovereignty and residency, so the cross-border and how you take data across those borders if you need to, and the different laws or jurisdiction laws that apply. What's clear is that this transformation into cloud is a real thing, and I think everyone is on the journey. I don't think there is any one company that's not looking at cloud adoptions. Uh, so that was, that was something that resonated well with me this morning. I think some of the challenges I've picked up uh, is you know, clients trying to understand that this is a utility, cloud is a utility, and that it shouldn't be a complex thing to adopt within an organization, but organizations make it difficult for themselves to uh, adopt this cloud journey. Um, it is a holistic approach and it's not a technology approach. And I think that's my parting comment, that we should look at it as a holistic, it's a business objective, it's not a technology objective. We've had a long journey with IOCO since uh, 2016, and I think the thing that has um, kept us so engaged with them is the partnership that we've experienced over the last eight, eight years. Um, and at every stage where we've encountered a challenge, we've been able to get around the table together and work together to figure out solutions, innovative solutions. And, you know, quite often, you know, there's a problem, we don't know where it lies, and it's not a blame game. It's about getting together and figuring out the best solution. From my perspective, uh, it is definitely the after-sales service that we do get uh, from Ayoko as well. And it is one thing uh, getting the sale, but uh, they go out of their way from a support uh, perspective. Because Ayoko is in the tech space, you guys are the subject matter experts in knowing what's coming through, what's new, and you are therefore uh, able to advise and tell us on what, what's happening in the industry. And, and, and that's the partnership I like and, and the trust that gets created. It's, it's more than just um, a transactional relationship. That's, that's what makes Ayoko a, a, a best uh, partner for me.